Hey everybody, how's it going? Vinny here from AndroidAuthority.com here with my top three keyboards on the Google Play Store. So, okay, I got people uh, adding me on Facebook, but anyways, let's get into it. Uh, my third favorite keyboard has to be the just stock regular gingerbread keyboard. Uh, you can get this on the market and download it. Um, it's a very easy keyboard. It has very good uh, prediction text. Also, it has very nice, uh, a very nice layout. I think at least that's how I feel. Um, I mean, it's just really easy to type on. I mean, I can just say, you know, hey, how are you? Okay, and I kind of screwed that up, but. Uh, we're typing this in the Google, so there's no prediction available on you know Google search. But anyways, I mean it's a very nice keyboard. Uh, has very nice uh, auto correct. Auto correct doesn't get too uh, too much in the way like some keyboards, like the stock Samsung keyboard. Um, the predict text gets in the way a lot. You know sometimes when you're trying to say something like uh, you know congrats, it'll automatically say congratulations. So that gets annoying. With this keyboard, it's a lot more simpler, a lot easier. You know, you got some cool settings. You know, you can mess around with. Um, you know, you got all your characters, of course, in the alt symbol. Um, I mean, just very nice keyboard. Uh, free on the Android market. So check that one out. Also, we have Go keyboard, which is cool for uh, just the fact there's a lot of skins you can easily download. Okay, well, we'll switch. So, yeah, the skins are just pretty cool. Um, so, we can go into theme settings and select theme. And right now, I only have the default one. So, we'll just run with that for now. And we'll go into a little search. Actually, you know what? We'll instead this time around. We're just going to go into a blink message. Alright, so function update. Uh, well, we'll deal with that later. But as you can see, I mean, it's just a, a stock. Stock wise, it's, it's just a white and gray keyboard. Uh, you can get pink, you can get purple, blue, black, and red, you know, all these cool uh, themes. And the keyboard itself is very nice. Uh, the predictor test is pretty easy to, to get used to. Um, the functions, so like the symbols and all that, are very, very fluid and easy. Uh, they stay, um, stay kind of true to almost your stock normal keyboard with a where your uh, symbols would be. So it's very nice. Also, uh, you know, here I guess I'll just do a quick uh, how are you doing text. So I'll say hey. Oops, my fault. How are you ding? Oops, I missed the O apparently. So how are you doing? So pretty easy. Um, I'm not really all used to it, but as you can see here, this little bubble pops up when you're using going through the symbols and stuff. It's just kind of neat. Um, not what I meant to do. But uh, anyways, so very nice keyboard. Definitely number two on my list. Uh, it's free. And most of the skins are free. I think some of them are paid for. But the uh, majority of them are free. So very nice keyboard if you're looking for themes and all that good stuff. So check this one out. Go home. And actually we'll just pop into the next keyboard. My favorite keyboard and it has always been is Smart Keyboard Pro. Whoops, not swipe. Smart Keyboard Pro. Definitely my favorite. Um, see, I got this kind of like an HTC Sense feel going on right now. Um, there's a bunch of other skins as well. There's not as many skins available like there are for Go uh, Keyboard, but very nice, uh, you know, very nice variety still. So. And, and it does come with a couple pre-installed rather than just one stock one. So I believe when you first uh, download it, you have iPhone, you have uh, the uh, HTC Mod one, and then you have Samsung, and I think that might be it. But anyways, 
with any event. Uh, very nice keyboard. The reason why it's really my favorite is just because for me personally, the autocorrect and the predict text is perfect. Uh, just for me personally, it might not be perfect for everyone else, but for me it just works flawlessly. I've never really had any problems with it. Other keyboards, for some reason, every once in a while the autocorrect and predict text gets, you know, irritating. And also, I like really big keys in this. You know, it comes with really big, spacious. Uh, keys, so it's just a very. Also, I like the you know that I can voice to text pretty quickly here too. That's nice. Not all keyboards offer that, so it's just a very nice keyboard. It's always been my favorite. I, I just can't turn my back on it. It is a paid keyboard. I believe it's 2.99 on the Google Play Store. So, but it's well worth it. Um, solid keyboard. If you're looking to change from the you know stock Motorola keyboard or the stock Samsung keyboard or something like that, these three, any of them will definitely be a good bet for you. My personal favorite has to be Smart Keyboard Pro. There is a uh, free version of Smart Keyboard. Um, it's just going to basically have a pop-up every once in a while saying, hey, you know, you should try, try Smart Keyboard Pro. You just ignore it. But me personally, I just went ahead and bought it just so I didn't have to deal with it anymore. I believe it does it just like once every 24 hours. So anyways, with all that being said, guys, I mean, those are my three. Smart Keyboard Pro being number one, Go Keyboard being number two, and the stock Gingerbread Keyboard being number three. So with all that, this has been Vinny Marino from anything from AndroidAuthority.com. Don't forget to check out the site, guys. Check out all of the cool uh, reviews, app reviews, phone reviews, tablet reviews, all that good stuff right on the site. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the videos coming out every week on our YouTube. And don't forget to like and comment on the videos if you have any questions or any good stuff like that. So, with it, anyways, guys, won't hold you up any longer. I'll see you next time.